Howdy. In this video, we're going to go over dynamic blocks in Terraform. So what are dynamic blocks? Well, basically, you have sometimes in resources, you will have uh, blocks inside of your resource that are repeated. So here's a really good example of a AWS security group where inside of that security group, you have ingress or egress rules. So you can see here, I have, you know, some common, common uh, ingress rules for port 443 and port 80. Well, if you look, you can define this, this resource allows you to define multiple ingress blocks. So you can do that. But if you see, this is kind of, you know, copy and pasted code, it's kind of, you know, redundant. Um, so if you, you change one thing, you might have to change another thing. So this isn't really that you know, might not be that great depending on how many ingress rules you have or depending on, on uh, whatever resource you have. So what you can do is you can you can have a dynamic block. So you can dynamically call this ingress rule multiple times, but only having to write it once. So the easiest way to do this is is through an example. So let's let's convert these two into a dynamic dynamic block. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, convert this data into uh, a list of objects. So basically, here's basically a local we have here, and then this is this th these are things we've already learned. But here, this is this is uh, specifies a list here with a square uh, square bracket, and then inside the braces you have a, a map or an object. So we ha we have two, uh, a list of two objects. So let, what we can do is we can loop through this uh, with the dynamic, dynamic block. So the way we do that, so let's comment this out. And the way we do that is with a dynamic keyword. So we do dynamic, and then we have a uh, uh, double quotes and inside the double quotes is going to be the rule that we're we're specifying the block so in our case it was ingress so here we're going to put ingress into the uh, the double quotes and then we have our curly braces and then inside of this we can specify a for each here and what we want to do is we want to specify that to our uh, ingress rules here that we've listed in our local. So we can do local dot ingress rules. And so we have that. Perfect. So the next thing we want to do, and there's there's a couple other attributes you can add, but the main one you're going to use is, is uh, content. So we'll specify content with curly braces. So content is going to be the data for your your block that we're creating dynamically. So inside of the content, we want to we want to add this this data here, the description from port to port, and all of that. So what we can do is let's let's add, just add description here first, and then we want to add the description from our ingress rule up here. So how do we do that? So the way we do that is by default, inside this dynamic block, there's an ingress, whatever we name, whatever this is named, we have that as a, a, a variable. So basically the data inside of here becomes into ingress ingress here and then that has a a key and a value attribute that we have on there and since we used a list so this is a list we don't really have a key so we just have a value so we can do ingress dot value and then now at this point this represents one one object here so now we can call any of the keys that are on here. So port or description. So here we want to call description. 
So now description is going to equal, you know, ingress.value.description. And then let's do from port. So ingress again, dot value, dot, what do we name it? Port. So we have port. And then next, let's do to port. And let's do protocol. Let's do TCP. And then insider blocks. We'll just allow all traffic here. Yeah. Perfect. So now what this is going to end up evaluating to is, is two blocks here just like this. And that. So, work. so let, let's... Um, Let's run this just to verify it works and so you can actually see it. So basically we just have, you know, our basic provider, our basic, our default VPC here. And then we're just going to create the security group here with the two, two uh, ingress rules. All right, so that's created. So let's go to our interface and see what it looks like and make sure it created it correctly. Um, well, that took a little while. Ah, the zoom on this video makes this hard to see. Let me zoom out. All right, that helps a little bit. All right, there we go. So this is the security group we created, Tuts Security Group. Right here, Tuts SG. All right, so we have that. Oh, an error occurred. Let me refresh. All right, here we go. We got Tuts Security Group, and then our inbound rules here. So we've got we've got our two dynamic or two blocks here of ingress rules, eighty and four four three. So that's from this dynamic block here. Yeah, so, so if your resource supports this, you know, different block types like this, uh, you, you can do it. It's, and it's not just ingress blocks. You can, you can do some other things. So if you look at the, the, the settings or the documentation, you know, you can do a setting block here for the, the Elastic Beanstalk environment. Like there's a setting block here where you can see that they do it here as well and your um, you don't have to do a list of objects you can do just a list um, if you need to or I mean uh, you don't have to do a list of objects you can do just an object with multiple key values if you want and that's where you would use like how we did just ingress.value you know since a list doesn't technically have any keys um, there's no key, but if you just did just an object outside of a list, you could do ingress.key as well. Um, there's also a couple other things you can set. You can set the iterator um, to to whatever you want. If you wanted to specify iterator here, uh, you can specify it to like foo uh, foo if you wanted to. And then you would use that value instead of the the ingress here, so you can do that. So that that defaults to to the block here, but if you set the iterator, you can use that. Uh, so that's the basics of dynamic blocks. If you have any questions on anything, just let me know, and I will see you in the next video.